like a very academic kind of research um, project on the use of data um, to something that you're facing on, on the ground. Thank you, Najib. Uh, sure, thank you very much. So I'm gonna uh, quickly, uh, there it is. Uh, yeah. uh, so the, the one, do you have my screen? I can't see. Hello? Yep, we do. All right. Yeah, okay, perfect. thank you very much. So uh, basically, as you said, my presentation is, is, is basically more of uh, sharing my experience with you regarding the challenges that we have in the field regarding uh, the uh, keeping track of populations in, in different uh, settlements that we have around the city that we so call them the urban settlements, in fact. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So basically, uh, before I, I actually go to, the, to go to the slides, I mean, I don't have to basically say that how important it is for us to know the population numbers in the, in the settlements, whether it be it, it's, it's a camp, it's a formal camp, informal camp, or a collective center. But, but we have had a lot of challenges in, in, this, uh, in, this, uh, in this way. Mm, a, a bit of a background before I go also is, is good for you that we, that we have had in, in, the, in, in the city of Herat of Afghanistan uh, registered uh, IDP uh, numbers uh, of 33,000 households that basically uh, came within a period of six months uh, during that year uh, because of a severe drought uh, from, from the, the, the uh, rural areas of uh, the two neighboring provinces, mainly to, to this province, uh, to a more uh, urbanized uh, city of Herat. Um, so basically, this, this is more about that situation. That situation leaded into creation of uh, many to several, several uh, settlements around the city uh, that they were all informal settlements. So basically, I'm going to quickly go to the slide. Uh, so the, set, the, the first challenge uh, for keeping track of the population in the informal settlements is basically the nature. Why? Because first they are merged sort of with the cities. They are at the city outskirts and, 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 and that saying is, is it, they, we, they have unlimited or uncontrolled, so saying, entry and exit routes. So you it's not really possible to see and count who is going and who is coming in to the, um, to the settlements. Uh, also, you see most of these settlements were, were basically or uh, uh, on, which means uh, creates uh, continuous eviction. Some of them forced, some of them people just come and nicely say and they would probably move to to another settlement uh, sometimes it happened so 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 this this by nature is also uh, all of these problems basically leads to defective profiling and registration mechanisms uh, because basically at one given time it's not possible to for us to actually say who exactly lives and how many people and who exactly lives in which settlement. So this, this by nature of this being, these settlements being informal settlement, so uh, we, we, uh, we have had, uh, we have led to this situation at the moment. The other thing is, of course, documentation. In Afghanistan, a place may, it, it would be, it, it's, 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 it's most probably a problem on, uh, around the globe uh, in, in, in displacement situations. Uh, or in uh, that basically people do not hold uh, documentations or uh, a documentation that you can say that everyone can uh, everyone actually holds to uh, to um, uh, to basically uh, register them based on that so there are like several types of documentations and sometimes you don't know which documentation to actually set for a standard for people to register it with and this actually creates a lot of duplications a lot of a lot of um, uh, opportunity for for cheating for more assistance and things like that um, basically the other challenge 
is continuous movement. People just keep moving and they wouldn't stop. Um, we are talking after three, this situation in Herat, and uh, um, today people move from one settlement to, to the other settlement for, diff for different many reasons. One of the main reasons is basically unsustainable resilience that people have built, basically, because they, the, the situation is not uh, sustainable. The, 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 release, resi resi the this, uh, resilience that they have built is not sustainable. So they have to keep moving from one place to another place for, for sake of livelihood uh, and, and, and everything. Uh, as, as I said, the fluctuating economies, the people, uh, the, the group of ideas that I am talking about have basically have received very little amount of assistance uh, uh, during 20. And the entire year has been only for food for these people. So they are basically uh, um, uh, depend on the local economy, but the local economy being fluctuating, especially now because of the COVID-19, um, it's getting better at the moment, but, but uh, very bad economy situation, local economy situation in the area. Uh, basically, that giving people also tend to, to go to negative coping mechanisms. So these, these two is relevant to the first, to the first topic. It's basically that the resilience is unsustainable. So this is one of the reasons that they actually move. The other thing is pool factors. I, I said that there are no assistance, but even with the small amount of assistance, for example, an hygiene kit, uh, people would, but the distribution of one as in one would, uh, would um, encourage people to move from one settlement to another one just to receive that little assistance being an hygiene kit. Um, so, so the so the other main the other main challenge um, uh, uh, is uh, engagement and policies. I put it that way because of what uh, because of the details I put in, in this slide. Community engagement in reporting of movements is actually very low. Uh, uh, most of the time, um, for us being the humanitarian assistance, we do not have people twenty four hours to monitor the situation in the camp. So basically, only during work days between, uh, for example, eight to three, we have people there in the sites uh, to monitor the situation, but, um, but mainly the people move around those hours. So it's also, we depend a lot on the community to give us information, but mostly the community uh, tend to, uh, um, high or low number on the situation. For example, if, 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 if going on in the area, so suddenly um, 200 families move from one settlement to another settlement. And uh, they, they, would, they would say, based on the situation, that it was a thousand household, or they would say it was a zero household. Uh, so sometimes they don't report at all, and sometimes they report very um, high numbers, uh, so they uh, it's it's very unlikely uh, that that we receive accurate uh, information from the communities, uh, from the community uh, and, and readers. Uh, and the, the <coughs> this one. Uh, so so this saying basically um, also the response strategy among the stakeholders. Uh, is is not is not very clear. It, it's because it's in the long. Its situation has turned into a sort of a protracted situation that, uh, and the, the the actors, including the government, do not see the 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 the, 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 the very long term uh, situation, uh, and they don't have a clear strategy among each other on what done what needs to be done next to actually. Uh, mm, mm, cover these people and 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 basically uh, uh to the third thing i mean this has kind of uh, 
created a situation that this that we don't really see uh, people being engaged in the activities or an organization into activities actually towards a, 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 a sustainable, uh, durable solutions uh, for, 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 for this case, particularly. because it's sometimes there is assistance, sometimes there is not assistance, some people have government is busy with other things, uh, people don't, uh, the IDPs don't, don't uh, basically get get engaged uh, into uh, uh, some sort of uh, participation activities to 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 raise their voice exactly what what is that that would, that would really uh, uh, move uh, towards a durable solution either to be integrated properly in the city or return or uh, sort of um, uh, or, or any other um, sort of uh, strategy that would change this situation to a, to a better off. Because basically, what we, what, I, what I can see in the field is is that the living conditions of the people after three years really changed that much. It has improved, built re re resilience both and both for the people who have moved out of the sites uh, and always show up again for 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 assistance that basically um, uh, um uh, can, can you hear one i think i'm i'm lost sorry Juan? yeah lost? yes i can hear you can you hear me okay ah uh, okay mm, oh okay you just got three I minutes think, to go yes uh yes particularly with, uh so all of We just lost your sound, uh, Najib. I hope we haven't lost you completely. Oh, ah. uh, so um, are you? Yeah, I mean the sound is not great, Najib, but we can we can still understand you. Though now I've lost your sound completely. Tarek, did we lose Najib completely from the call? Well, no, actually, he's, well, now, yes, now he's back on. Okay, maybe it's easier. Uh, Najib, please feel free to, um, or you can talk to us uh, even without the slides as well. Uh, sure. Thank you. Actually, it was done. I was done. So I think my time is also up uh, almost. Um, so I uh, have some for questions. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I mean, I so th thank you very much uh, uh, for that. Um, if you have. Yeah, no, thank you. Um, I mean, it's interesting because uh, in IOM, we've been talking to our colleagues working in transit centers as well, and this challenge of constant movement or of new people arriving and, and people only staying for a couple of days, that is a challenge to like work on how to improve participation um, in, in those locations as well.